we shot the music video, which is probably my favorite music video to date. And it had um, iconic album covers that we recreated. And what ended up happening was we did that. And we also, uh, when we were making this song, we were like, yo, let's reference all these old school rappers because it kind of has this old school feel to it. And in doing so, we found out that we couldn't do that without clearance of all these other people and artists and so on and so forth. So we tried reaching out to them and some of them didn't get back to us. Some of them did get back to us and they wanted a ton of money. And as all of this is happening, my album is being finished. The release date is happening and I'm getting ready to put it out. Uh, so we had to push my album back three different times because we couldn't get clearance for some of the lyrics in this song. And at the last minute, we had to go in studio and rewrite new verses and new lines and replace everything. And uh, while that was happening, it was a super discouraging time because it was a monkey wrench thrown into my art. You know, if you learn how to make lemonade out of the situation, then you typically have a great marketing story or you get to tell, show people the adversity that you overcame and how that became a more compelling part of your art. It ended up becoming this marketing story. We had this secret music video that nobody could see and it made everybody want to see it. So I went out to the streets and I stopped people and I said, hey, watch my music video and then I'm going to film your reaction to it. And that became the music video. So there's always an opportunity in your lack uh, is what I found out for other creatives out there. Sometimes you run into these um, limitations or these roadblocks. And if you look at them from a different angle, a lot of times you can use them to your benefit to tell a cool story.